All right, Astro T265, moisture content of soils. Um, your sample size, there's two ways that you can get your sample size. The first way would be according to the test method. So for instance, T90 told me that I needed 10 grams. 10 grams would be my test sample size. If the test method does not tell you the sample size, then there's a table in T265 that tells you um, what your sample size would be. Um, first thing you do, you will have a container with a lid. You wanna make sure you get its weight. Once you get its weight, write that down. Then you would put your soil sample for moisture inside the container. Immediately put the lid on it. Get that weight. Then you'll put it in an oven at 230 plus or minus nine degrees. You'll dry it overnight, minimum 15 hours. After that 15 hour period, or if after one hour of, initial, of um, additional drying, that the weight does not change by 10th of a percent. Once that happens, you take that out, immediately put the lid on with the sample and get its weight. If you do not want to use a lid, you can, but you would get your sample, put it in here, immediately get its weight. From there, immediately put it in the oven. After the drying period, take it out of the oven, either put it in a desiccator, allow it to cool, or immediately grab its weight. Um, there's notes in T265 6.1 that tell you that when you're drying the samples, samples that have been drying will absorb, will absorb moisture. You do not want to put wet samples in there and mix them with the dry samples. Um, after the dry samples, after the samples have been tested and dried, they cannot be used for any further testing. Um, after you've gotten the weight before and the weight after, then you would calculate your moisture to the 0.1%. Please be sure to read all of the materials available in your Soils and Aggregate Technician Certification Workbook.